Hello everybody, it's Nikki and I'm back with another video for you guys today. I'm going to go through my August favorites. It's been a crazy month. I've been super busy going all over the place, but I have a little roundup of kind of random things that I wanted to show you guys that I've been loving. So let's just hop right in and um, if my camera would focus. All right, let's hop in. Alrighty, so this time I don't have a ton of new beauty related items. This is actually super, super a random collection of what's been my favorite this month. But I do have two lip items that I wanted to show you. First things first is this Kylie Cosmetics lip liner. It is in the color Candy K, I think, yes. And um, I bought this in a little duo kit with this and one of the matte, or it wasn't even, it was like a velvet lip, I guess. This is my first Kylie products that I've ever gotten. And I'm really impressed with the lip liner. It's obviously been used. Um, I think that this color is really, really pretty and uh, very natural, a good starter color. And there's nothing more that I can say besides this goes on really well. It's not chalky at all. Um, and I'm very impressed with the lip liner, especially. Okay, so the next thing that I want to show, I think I've talked about in my Coachella videos before, but this is the Essence Hollow Glow Dewy Lip Shine. It's a really, really pretty, very holographic, shimmery lip gloss. And I think it's kind of, uh, at first I bought this really supposed to be for a festival use, but I've kind of realized that I don't really care and I can wear this all over the place. Um, so I've been using this and substituting it for my regular Essence lip gloss, and it's just another fun little way to kind of give your lips a little bit of shine, which I've been really enjoying. Oh, and you can't beat the price on this. These are literally like $2 at Ulta, so check out the Essence lip gloss. They have good ones. So the next thing that is semi makeup related is actually my Maybelline Master Prime. There is someone outside walking. It was good. Just look at me. Ooh. You guys, there is somebody right across in my apartment complex, and he was looking right at me. Subscribe, like, and comment, huh? Okay, so the next item that I wanted to show you is this Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio. It's a primer. I got this in a Vox box. No, I got this from Influencer, um, which you guys should definitely check out if you don't have the Influencer app. It's pretty much like free products in exchange for reviews, so it's really worth it. You should definitely download it. I'll put it down below. Um, but this is the primer that's new from Maybelline. I'm not a huge primer person. I'm really, really picky with my Murad primer that I always talk about on here. I really love that stuff, but it is definitely on the pricey side. This is very inexpensive and I love the feeling of how this goes on your skin. It's kind of, it's obviously like a jelly type you know, liquidy primer texture, but it goes on like a satin. I don't even know how to explain. It just feels so nice when it goes on. And I feel like this does a pretty good job of blurring my pores as well. So definitely if you're looking for a new primer, I would check this one out. I've been impressed with it. You guys, I'm really sorry if the focus goes in and out on this. I don't know what's going on, but I'll try and avoid that. The next skincare related item that I have is this Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. This is one of the little tester sizes. What I normally do with these Murad products, because I've tried this before, I love the, vit the vitamin C line, and they sell these little like kind of tester kits at Sephora where you can get a small one of this, the sunscreen and the face wash for I think it's only like 30 bucks. And this actually does last a pretty long time. I don't use it every single day, but I really like their vitamin C line a lot because I really get weird kind of pigmentation issues often. And I think that this is a great way in the summer, especially to make sure that my skin is pretty evened out. Um, so with discoloration, this is something I really love. You guys should definitely check it out. Alrighty, next beauty related thing. This is not embarrassing to talk about because it's an embarrassing thing to buy, but I have this new shampoo and conditioner that totaled like a hundred bucks. Um, so definitely more on the pricey side, but it is the Ori Bay or I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's so fancy. It's the Ori Bay Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo and the Gold Lust Repair and Restore Conditioner. So my hair is trash. It's always been super damaged. It's really, really, really fine. That's why my hair has always been so short because 
it breaks every time I try and grow along. Um, so my hairstylist, she's amazing. I'll link her down below as well. Her name's Clarissa. Shout out Clarissa. Hi, hey girl. Um, she suggested this brand to me. I know that it's definitely a little bit more on the top end, but I decided that I do want to be investing more in my hair because it's attached to my head and I want to make sure it looks nice. So this stuff is, first of all, it smells really, really good and it leaves my hair feeling so soft and I feel like I don't even need product in it after I get out of the shower. Normally I do that it's a 10 leave-in conditioner, but this one, I don't even need it anymore and a little goes a long way. It's super concentrated. So it's definitely an investment, but it's an investment that I think is worth it to make. So if you guys feel like you have damaged hair, I would absolutely check this out. I got these two bottles from Nordstrom and yeah. Alrighty, next up is kind of still beauty related. This is actually an essential oil roller ball. It is from Sage Wellness and it has, let's see what's in here. Apply to throat, back of neck and chest to encourage feelings of comfort and well-being. Lemon and cypress uplift the spirit while precious ylang ylang and rose promote a sense of balance and calm in times of change. So when she gave me this, she was like, oh, this is supposed to be for calming like crazy emotions and stuff. And I was like, girl, what are you trying to say? Because you write. Um, I get super mood swingy to be completely honest. And I'm kind of a really emotional person. <laughs> and who in their mid twenties, mid to young, am I in my mid twenties? I'm 24, does that classify to me to be in my mid twenties? You guys wait, pause the video. Okay, I'm having a crisis. Um, I'm gonna ignore that. Definitely check out Sage Wellness. That's all I have to say. They have tons of different things if you don't need to calm your crazy hormones like I do. But it's nice because it's a rollerball on one end and then a dropper on the other. So if you want to put it in like your bath, you can. But I just roll this on the back of my neck and then like right here. And um, I feel like it actually does a really good job of calming me down. I love the smell and it's just a nice way to relax. These are a little bit pricier. I think they're in like the $20 range, but they last a long time and it's really good quality, nice packaging. The people at the store are really nice and um, the store is also cute and trendy. So of course I'm gonna spend, you know, an exuberant of money on oils. Alrighty, moving into fashion. The first thing that I've been obsessed with are these pants. They are bell bottoms from Free People. This is my first time buying Free People jeans and I love them. My roommate Jamie swears by them. She wears a lot of Free People and she loves their pants. I'm very, very loyal to Topshop. I'm personally very biased and think Topshop jeans are the best, but I was looking for some really extreme bell bottoms for outside lands. If you guys haven't seen my vlog, go watch it. You'll see a full body of what these actually look like on. I'll link um, these down below if I can find them on the website, but they're so comfortable. They're really, really high waisted. And the bottom, the bell bottoms are the biggest flare I've ever seen. I looked everywhere for big bell bottoms. These are also really cute because in the back, right at the knee, they have kind of this stitching line, which makes them look even more exaggerated and I love them. So flattering, so cute, got tons of compliments, we love. I can't put this here or else people will get mad. Okay, next fashion item I've been loving this month and actually an entire store is Forever 21. I've always loved Forever 21 since I was in high school. I kind of stopped shopping there for a little bit because I felt like the clothes got really kind of tacky in a way. They're not the best quality ever, but you obviously get what you pay for. But I have been going back recently and finding so much cute stuff there, especially in the jewelry department. So I've been buying tons of statement earrings there for work. These are from there. I've had these for a while, but let me just show you a couple of earrings that I've gotten from there. I got these really cool, shiny gold ones. I got these gigantic white ones, which are pretty much a perfect Kendra Scott dupe. And the Kendra Scott ones are like probably almost a hundred bucks. These are like eight or something like that. All of the jewelry and the earrings are usually under 10 bucks. And then I also got these, which are really fun. It's kind of an Egyptian looking cool kind of, I don't even know what shape. It's like a half moon gold and like a marble. These are really pretty, but I get tons of compliments on these earrings, you guys. They have the best selection right now, especially towards the end of summer, I would go check those out. Uh, but Forever 21, we've been sleeping on them because they've gotten good again. Alrighty, we are nearing the end here. I only have a couple of more things, but 
I have switched over planners. I used to be a big Lily Pulitzer person and then I switched to Erin Condren and now I decided I really don't need to be spending $60 on a planner. I know, ugh. But I moved over to these planners that I got from Target. They're from the brand Day Designer. The first one that I started with is this one. And this is the, this is the daily view. So the thing I like about this is that it does give you um, a monthly view, obviously, but then it breaks it down really specifically into each day. So the entire page is one day. I wasn't sure I was gonna love this because I'm used to having like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday all on the same thing. But this is nice because it goes from 6 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. I work at 8 a.m. in the morning and I'm always doing stuff after work so I wanted to have a full entire schedule that I could write in my hourly calendar. And then it also has today's top three, a to-do list, um, notes, tonight and gratitude and then it always has a little quote here too which is really cool so I haven't been utilizing the daily view and all of these um, sections as much as I wish I did but I really like that I have that option and then obviously I have the overview of the month and then what I just bought today actually is this one which is just a weekly view version it's a lot smaller and this is a hardcover one and this one I'm actually going to use for a content calendar because I promise that I'm going to be uploading more regularly now um, so I have a whole entire month view and then just a standard weekly view. The way that it has it broken down is today's schedule and a to-do list and then at the bottom it has this week's top three and a little quote. So these are super cute. I would definitely check them out. You can just buy them at Target and it's the Day Designer brand. Okay, the last two things that I have really been enjoying are not anything that I can show you. One of them is a music artist. So when I went to Outside Lands, there were definitely a lot of people there that I hadn't heard of before. So I was doing my research ahead of time on which bands I was looking to see. And one of the ones that I stumbled across is called Still Woozy. It's really, really cool, chill vibes. Like it's called Still Woozy for a reason. It makes you kind of want to go like this, but it's like a super indie feel good band. It's just the type of music you want to listen to on like a morning drive with the windows down when it's warm. Um, and it's just kind of, I don't know, it makes you feel good. It's like feel good music, but it's really kind of, it's kind of edgy. So definitely check it out. But that's been my favorite band this whole entire month. The other thing that I've been obsessed with is class pass. I hate working out. I think I've talked about how I hate working out and I had a 24 hour fitness membership and pretty much never used it, which is so annoying. My roommate just got home. <laughs> I have been using class pass. You get the first month's free if you sign up with a code. So I'll drop mine down below so you guys can just go check it out and sign up for it. It's awesome and if you get your friends to sign up then you can keep getting months for free so i'm trying to just get everyone to sign up so i can get this free membership but it's seriously really cool you get to try out a bunch of different studios and one thing that i've been enjoying is that they do have dance classes on there as well which for me i grew up dancing and i really miss it a lot so i got to take a burlesque class recently which was so fun um so it's cool they have all kinds of different workouts they have everything from spin to yoga bar hit you know dance all that stuff so definitely check it out this is in no way sponsored by them or fabfitfun i feel like that i keep talking about that too but i will leave links for everything down below but that is pretty much the end of the video Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed my August favorites. Definitely leave me a comment down below of what your favorites have been for this month because I'm always looking to try out new things, especially musical artists. That's one thing that I've been getting a lot more into recently and I love checking out new artists, so drop them down below. Go check out Still Woozy, like I said, they're really good. Um, but other than that, subscribe, like, comment, you know the drill, the YouTube drill, what's up? And follow me on Instagram so that we can continue the conversation and say hi. But other than that, I hope you have a great day and a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye!